no auctions, no good estate sales, no flea market today. So that means I am trying my hand at some thrifting on the hunt for vintage as always. Perhaps I can find something interesting, new, different, a big money maker or something really cool and historical that I like for myself. So let's get another thrift store, see what treasures await us on the racks and hopefully find some goodies. <laughs> at the thrift store. Naturally, I come before their big day of half off, but anything that's really good, people aren't gonna wait a day to buy. This little guy. This looks like a souvenir that you'd get. This is Wells Fargo. This reminds me of the little souvenirs you get at, um, like down at the beach. It's kind of cute. It's funny that it says Wells Fargo on it. I might look it up. Two ninety two. We'll see. Lots of glassware as always. You can hear it rattling. Oh, These are very thin. This looks like a tiki mug, and it is $8.98, it has the Vintage Japan sticker. Tiki mugs can do really well, it just depends if they're branded. Um, for $9, I think I'll pass on that though. More tacky. These have been here for a while, so obviously no one wants them. We have our little clown, egg basket, little angels. This looks like a vintage Christmas one. Schmidt Brothers, made in Japan. $3.93. Taking a look at the jackets. You never know what you might find. Oh, Woolrich. That's nice. I don't know the labels for Woolrich. We know what's vintage and what's not. That's a pretty nice jacket. Eagle, game day, $6.99. Big old navy puffer vest. Oh, look at this. Dale Earhart, Earhart Jr., $14.99. That's pretty nice. I might have to look this up. I'm not sure about jackets, but I mean, this looks like a pretty cool, cool jacket that someone would wear. Racing is big, so I'll have to look that one up. This could be good. I think this is a little kid's section for jackets. This is awesome. $19. That's way too small for me, but look at that design. I don't know if I can flip it. The pocket's actually zipped down. The inside's nice. This is pretty cool. Way too small for me, but oh, I don't know. I do like it. The design is just nice, and I think someone would buy it just for that. And we have Legos. Six ninety six. What are these guys? These Pokemon. So there's lots of Legos. These are half off in my UK, but they do look like the older ones. 
I have no idea though. Cowboys and Indians. Cars. If someone knows their logos, I'm sure that they'd be able to figure out what would be a good deal or not, but I have no idea. That guy looks like an astronaut, a race car driver. I don't think any toys for me today. There's some old Hess trucks. But without the box, they're not really anything. I don't remember this guy. I used to get all the old Hess trucks too. So checking out the shirts in the women's section at this store, I very rarely find vintage shirts in the women's section. I don't know if it's just cause they like, is this, that's so funny, junk food. What year is this? 2009. Tricked me. <laughs> you can see I also don't know all my vintage tags. But anyway, as I was saying, I very, very rarely find vintage um, shirts in this section, in this store, in the women's section. I don't know what it is. I don't know if they want them in with the men's clothing, but that one sure tricked me. A lot of Disney clothes I've been finding today, which is great if you're going to Disney. You could just buy them here instead of paying the price at um, the park. So I definitely filled my basket today and branched out a little bit in regards to what I'm buying. Now I say in many of my videos I do not like selling clothing online and what did I buy but some clothing <laughs> oh wow you know worst comes to worst I save it for the flea market and I sell them there so what did I fill my basket with um let's start out with the jacket that I wish would have fit me so this is Sorry for all that noise. It's a vintage Jerry ski jacket um, made in uh, Denver, Colorado. It is smaller, unfortunately, because this would have been an amazing jacket if it would have been my size. I believe it's a youth size, but in really nice condition. All the zippers work, pockets are great. You always wanna make sure that you check the armpits because oftentimes little holes hide out in there, both on the outside and on the inside. The main reason why I bought this jacket is because of the piping and the color. I mean, this has a great cowboy look to it, you know, Western feel, but it is essentially a winter ski jacket. I paid $18.99. Now, tomorrow is half day off at this thrift store. When I post this video, half day off will have come and gone, but, you know what will this be there the next day it could have so i could have gotten it for you know nine dollars but i don't know you know jerry jackets some of them go for a good amount of money if we're talking profits here i just really like the look of it and i really wish it would have been my size so we shall see how this goes online i don't know i I think it just looks awesome. And if, you know, there's a family that are into vintage clothing and they're big time skiers, this might be perfect for their, you know, their child to wear on the slopes. Love that piping. Then I branched out, bought another jacket. So this one was $14.99 and when I brought it up to the counter, the woman was like, $14.99? She's like, man, 
That's a steal. She goes, well, this is a thrift store. They should apply that to some of their other items because <laughs> some of the prices, yikes. So this is a Adele um, Earnhardt Jr. jacket from Budweiser, Chase Authentics. There are some that are like driver worn, you know, the labels are different, but this was $15. Again, in really nice shape and has all the different patches on it. The back is what kind of tricks me because on eBay, I did a little look-see. My back is different um, this way, I'll hold it over here. Oftentimes the other ones have like a big B with like the sparks coming out of it, not the right terminology. So mine's a bit different, you know, $15. Again, if I have to, I'll take it to the flea market and I can get some kind of profit there. Um, but pockets were great, armpits were good. I'm just now checking this button. I should have checked that before. So really nice jacket, not a jacket that I would wear. <laughs> So I'm, I don't need to worry about if this fits me or not. But, you know, racing is still popular. And anything Dale, the father, um, more so than Junior, there's big money in it. People love him. They, they loved his racing. And, you know, they, they still follow the family. So branched out a little bit with this. We shall see what happens. I, it may teach me a lesson to never buy jackets again. We'll have to see. Now for myself, because I cannot resist, and they're practical. Well, maybe this wasn't, but. So this is a vintage Sears boy shirt. Um, it was half off, so it was only a dollar. And it's so cute. Red, white, and blue snap up the short sleeves. It looks like it will fit me. I do enjoy wearing vintage clothing and fortunately I'm able to still fit in smaller sizes. So I always check the kids clothing racks because oftentimes things get missed there because you know people that enjoy wearing vintage clothing they may or may not be able to fit those smaller sizes. So yes, <laughs> we shall see. But I like that it was from Sears. That was fun. Size extra large. 18 to 20, so still fits me, hopefully. And then also something very practical for myself, I bought these. These are Oboes. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right. At first I thought they were Keens. I love Keen brand boots. I have a pair of Keens that I've had for over 10 years. They still fit, they're still great, very worn in, very comfortable. And I just can't part with them. But Keens are an expensive brand of shoes, but that's because they are great. You know, they they hold, they last, they last. Keen, if you're watching this, if you need my shoe size, I can send it to you for another pair. But I bought these because these are only $3.99 and they fit me. They look like they have barely been worn, still great tread. I think this brand does do well online, but again, they fit me for $4 for a nice pair of almost brand new boots we're gonna they're gonna be keepers they would have been keens that would have been magic but they're not so but still really nice um so yeah i ventured off into some new grounds with buying some vintage clothing for reselling we shall see how those jackets do i wasn't able to find that jerry print online um, i don't know could be a hit or miss but again i think if I take them to the flea market, I should at least be able to make my money back on them. And it'll just be a learning lesson like all thrifting is. So I hope you enjoyed this thrifting adventure. If you did, be sure to click on that thumbs up button and leave a comment on perhaps maybe your favorite thrifting find or what you hope to find thrifting in the new year. We all have those goals or those unicorns, thrifting unicorns, thrifting. I don't know, there's some term for like the grails that you always want to find at a thrift store. So hopefully this upcoming new year, you'll be able to find them. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. I will see you all next time. If you're out thrifting, hope that you find your treasure.